cut that off, man. Cut that off, man. Nation. Y'all know it's always something going down in the trap. In the trap. We're going to get right into it, bro. I ain't never did none of these on camera, so, you know. I gotta cook up some samples anyway. So I said, why not go ahead and print this whole pack? We're gonna go on and run through a whole little six pack, a stack track pack, right? So let me see, where mine at? Where mine at? Let me go and get my small, you know what I'm saying? And tuck mine out the way. Make sure I get what I need. <laughs> What's crazy is I probably get these and never even wear them, but I still gotta have me a pair always, that. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So yeah, bro, we're gonna print these stack track pants with the line down the middle. So it got like the inseam line. And I know a lot of people be trying to print these and you know, they probably run into like issues with this little line down the middle. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do it, or at least how I do it based on the design that I did. I basically designed my uh, logo to actually make sense for this cut so it won't touch when I do it. But yeah, we're gonna use some white suede on these. We about to go crazy, man. And what I do too, I also anytime I rip these off, when I get something new, I keep their hang tags. And that way, just in case I want to go back with like this same type thing, I can make some of these myself. Like we can actually make these right at the crib, you know what I mean? And I might have to make a video separate one day to do that. But yeah, you can damn. <laughs> you can make these right at the crib. Like this ain't nothing but uh car stock. So regular car stock paper, you can print on it, it's solid white and black. All that good stuff, man. I'm gonna make more videos on all that type of stuff too. Cause I don't, I, I think I, have I did some hang tags before on camera? I feel like I did some hang tags on camera before, but I can't say for sure. But yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and print these up right quick. Let me bust all the packs. So cook up session, man, cook up session. Random cook up session too on a Sunday. I, I really supposed to be chilling. But hey, we ain't doing no chilling. We ain't doing no chilling. Cook up session. I'm about to actually drop this gear though. That's what I am about to do. That's that, that damn, I'm tripping. I almost forgot to even mention it. But yeah, the Creative Nation website is about to be back up. I updated the website. It's a new website. And yeah, the last release that I posted that never dropped is gonna finally drop. And I think I'm gonna put together one more collection to go with it. So I'm gonna add some new pieces because it done lost a little steam now. So I gotta add some to it to give it a little more steam. But that's where these came from, my last release. So I got some of the samples already printed. We're gonna print all these, you know what I mean? Gonna get the people riled up. <laughs> and let me show y'all how I print stack track pan with the seam down the middle. And let me show y'all these up close too. So the starters, these the pans right here, right? So this the seam that I'm talking about. You can see, I'm gonna I'm lay it on the table too, but. You can see the little seam in the middle that I'm talking about. You're going to have to print around, or well, at least with the design that I'm doing, you're going to have to print around. You know, it's based on your design, but yeah, we're about to go crazy. All of them open. We're using some white flock. I call it white suede because that's basically what it is, but the actual name for it is flock that they go by when you're looking it up on vinyl sites and stuff like that. We go ahead and crank this on up. Might as well clip all these on off now. Ain't no sense in waiting. Ain't no sense in waiting. All right, man, we lit, let's get it. So one pass for me, it's a quick little six pack. They come in packs of six, right? So I get these packs of six for, man, you gonna cut me off like that, huh? I get packs of six of these for like $85 or whatever. And of course it's tax free because I use my sales tax for you. So I don't pay no taxes on it. So it'd be like $85 even. And yeah, man, these are some dope track pants. For real, for real. Like they gonna be lit. I ain't never dropped none. I let everybody do their thing with them first. And then I finally double back and put it together for myself. So we're gonna drop some. They lightweight, you know what I mean? It's been hot as hell, but I feel like you can still pull these off. In the uh in the summer i don't even know why i'm folding them like that because i'm about to print them we in here bruh 
I'm about to go ahead and do mine first. Not this XL, because I can tell this is XL. What I tell you? That bitch feel big. XL, large. So it comes with an XL, a large, two mediums, and two smalls. So anything above XL, you're dead. Ain't nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Can't do nothing for you big guys that's above XL on these, man. I'm sorry. But they definitely drop it on the website. It's gonna be on the website. By the time this video come out, the website will be up and the products will probably be listed. And I should be dropping, um, you know, the links to everything by, yeah, 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 it'll be out. By the time I put this video out, it'll be out. But yeah, man, these some nice track pants. Look at them. Got the blue zipper, white strings, white piping. Got the blue uh, piping line down the middle though. That's what I'm saying. So most people that I've seen do this, they gonna usually, you know, either print like right here or, you know, you kinda gotta do something that's gonna go across this whole middle. So with me, I did the double logo that's gonna uh, basically go one right here and one right here at the knee or whatever, or a little above the knee. And then it's gonna split this line. So basically I made my design to where it's gonna go right around the line and I can still press it with the heat press and nothing touches this to where it's gonna be, you know, coming off if somebody trying to, I, I guess you would say wash them or dry them or whatever, but. The track pants they sell for lit, bro. That's the brand. Rebel Mine. I wish that a focus. There you go. Yeah, good quality. A1. Got a back pocket. You know what I'm saying? Definitely dope, man. They got uh, good quality stuff. And they got hella colors, too. I just got this color. But I'm actually going to get some in red. I'm going to get some in pink. I'm going to get some in black. Because them the colors that I went with. So I got to go get the other two colorways. But... Yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Man, we're gonna print this white flock right quick, and let me show y'all the design I'm about to do. So, this is the design we about to run right here. We're gonna run this design right here, and basically, as y'all can see, my design got like a little space in between the the TI right here and the E8. So when I print it, I'll be able to put that line. I can split up the middle and put it right on the you know each side of the line, and then press it like that. And I'm going to go suede instead of puff because I don't got time to play with that puff liner. But yeah, we're going to cut out these two for each leg and see how it comes out. Show y'all what we're working with. Nation, we always cooking up, man. You know it don't stop. And guess what? I'm going to list these on my site and start having them available too, bro. Like, I have them listed on my site and I'll just charge for the shipping. That way it's like, I'm y'all getting the same price I get, but... Y'all got to pay for your own shipping. I can't pay for the shipping, so <laughs> that ain't on me. But, you know, I list, I'm going to list a lot of dope stuff like this for uh, people that's want to shop and, you know, get the stuff. And then, you know, they may – I know some of y'all might not have your paperwork or your sales tax of use. So I'll sell it to y'all, you know, and y'all can get it directly from your boy. And that way I can exclude or eliminate the problem of having to, you know, try to figure out how you're going to get your paperwork just to order some stack pans to sell and you can go on and get the money. First two sample cuts, and this is gonna be simple, bro. Like it, I rarely do simple stuff for myself, so I'm glad I'm doing something that's gonna require me to cut some small logos, and then of course I probably gotta come over with like a custom size tag. So I might I might throw that in on y'all, show y'all how we can finesse something like that since we don't got an embroidery tag. It's always a way around it. Y'all know me. I'm gonna come up with some every time. Hold on, y'all. Let me weed this out right quick. I ain't even gonna hold y'all up and try to get all close with the camera, showing y'all me weeding it out. Just gonna do it. <laughs> just went crazy. That's all that. So we got the two little first samples weeded out. You go to clip that up right quick. Clip that up right quick. None too major. Go ahead and get it right, y'all. Get it right. Sometimes simplicity is key, though. I ain't gonna lie. I try to tell people that all the time. Like, bruh, people be thinking so hard on some stuff, trying to design super graphic-y stuff all the time and skip over the simple stuff that I sell and people that are people that rock. So right now, I can go one of my simplest 
releases yet. I try to keep this release real simple. And damn, that's the perfect size. So as y'all can see, exactly what I was saying. We're going to take this and I'm going to split it up the middle, right up in the middle of here. One of these going to go on each side and then, you know, it's going to be the perfect one. So my thing now is I just got to figure out exactly for the knee, where the knee is. So I actually got to pull up the image because I got it on my other other phone. But we're going to go ahead and cut out. I got to do six pairs. So we're going to cut out 10 more because I got to do two for each leg. So. I know I need to do two more this side because two of them small, and I probably go up in size like an inch as I go up on the other ones. But so far, so good, y'all. That's what we're about to do. We're going to go ahead and print this out, but we're going to go ahead and split that up the middle, and it's going to go over in between the line, and then, yeah, that's what it is. Let's go. Let's go. That's all of them. All of them, y'all. Little bit of vinyl did all six pair. That's all you need. I know for sure. I'm gonna need some of this black suede because we're gonna need this to make a size tag. So I'm gonna throw this out the way, but we here, you know. And before I even do all of the rest, I'm gonna go ahead and um just print this one because I just need to show y'all one before I run through the whole load. So let me show y'all this one. We're gonna go on and take this and transfer it over to the heat press, you know. You know how I do, I always got a way to get my stuff over there without it moving. <laughs> it gonna move a little bit, I know that, but I ain't tripping. As long as it don't move a whole lot, it ain't really shift out the spot. And either way, the best part about doing stuff like this is it's easy to align by just aligning the bottom of the pan. Like I got them at the exact the same alignment, so that's all that matter. And then from the side, you can easily see that is in the same spot, so yeah, we good to go. I'm gonna take this. I already got them where I want them. Only thing I didn't do yet was snip with the scissors. Snip them with the scissors. Boom. Now I'm gonna just press this side first just to get it down, cause. I don't want it to move and I know trying to do this one on this side I can't really see in the back of the press so I'd rather flip the pants around if you got a swing away press then you you could do a little bit better but me I like the clam shell so this is how I got to go about it all right now we're gonna take this and spin it spin it spin it and you don't have to transfer them over here like I did you can really just Go your own route. It's just how I be doing it. I be being, I'm, I be in the zone when I be doing this, using my own little methods. But you know, you can maneuver how you want to maneuver and put it, have you see fit. But I just try to go about it how the best the way I know, as far as trying to get my placement right. So, you know, you can mark it. You can put a little piece of tape on it so you can make sure it's in the exact same spot. There's plenty of stuff that you can do. I'm just doing it the Reek way, <laughs> and you know. That way been working. So now we got both of them on there. But y'all know before I let y'all go, we ain't going out like that. Come on now. Patty pillow. Y'all already know I'm the one that's gonna tell you every time why these padded pillows come in handy. And y'all get to see exactly why for stuff like this. So basically you need that padded pillow, bro, because trying to press this, the pants are so light puffed up and kind of like you see how it's folding over and it's lifted and then you got this in the middle of the word so it ain't really getting that flat here you want to make sure it's gonna get pressed all the way down and i feel like with a heat press it's just some about it that it don't give it that with these pants it don't give it the like pressure that it need regardless of how good of a press it is it's just like this inseam in the middle these folds on the end and this piping right here this thick pipeline it's causing it not to really get the pressure it needs. So it's going to come off. And that's the last thing you want. You don't want nothing coming off. So, yeah, you're going to do that. You're going to press it, peel it off, and then you're going to press it with this being flock as much as you can, you know, as much as you, you can without burning it. And if you want to use regular vinyl, you know, you can go with the seconds of regular vinyl. Whatever vinyl you decide to use, you know, go with the, the settings it. Go with the settings it have for that time frame. But 
me personally, I'm using flocks, so I'm gonna have to heat this for a lot longer. And I'm definitely gotta use the uh, I'm definitely using the padded pillows every time, cause without those padded pillows, you're not getting the even pressure. But y'all see how it came out though, right around, right um, right around the line, the line going down the middle, aligned perfectly, you know, A1, and we're gonna press it a few more times to make sure it's A1, and then I'm just gonna do all of them, bro. But this was a quick cook up, cause it's so simple. Like I just wanted to show y'all the pants, and then also let y'all see some of the stuff that I'm gonna be providing. So. Yeah, we here, man. Stack track pants. Double print down the middle. Cut up the inseam. Look at that. Sheesh. Come on, man. Mom just went crazy. Hey, these ain't even my... Oh, yeah, this is small. Okay, so these mine. My personal pair. They look a little so long. I don't know what, what shoes I'm wearing with these, man. They need to come over the extra small for me. He's up on my stomach. <laughs> but nah, they came out A1. Y'all see the, the actual alignment is, you know, perfectly aligned. Might be off just a little bit. You know, nothing is probably never perfect. But overall, we got that going. It's going around it. So the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to give y'all some game on how you can turn up when you can't afford to get embroidery uh, tags. So like, if you can't afford to get this type of tag, or you, you know, we try to print up right from the crib, bro. So we ain't even got time to try to send these off and manufacture no little six pack. Cause it's only six. Even if you buy a 12 or 24, it's like, bro, we can't do all that. So I'm gonna show y'all what y'all can do to turn up y'all brand and how to turn up my tag. So right now we got the print done. We're gonna flip these inside out first thing first. That's the first thing we gonna do. Flip these inside out. Boom, that way when we put the tags in there, we can do our thing and we're gonna stretch this. So we're gonna stretch this waistband to the max capacity. So we're gonna stretch this around the heat press. That's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna put that around the base of your heat press, stretch it, pull it close, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna need padded pillows, bro. You don't necessarily need them, but padded pillows make this stretch a little bit more and give it a, a good press. But we finna we finna show y'all. Hold on, let me get the camera. All right. Now so let me show y'all exactly what I was saying. So y'all see how we got that? Boom. Because you're going to want the waistband stretched out as much as possible. So we got that going around the heat press and we got our padded pillow. So now you don't need the biggest padded pillow, but y'all see I got all of them. I got the big one, the small one, the little one. You know, I got all of them because I already know I'm going to need it. And it's one of my most used tools, bro. Especially if you ain't got the most expensive heat press. You're going to slide it up in there to give it a little bit more pressure. And now we got that, look, that's stretched out, so you ain't gotta worry about it being all scrunched up. And we are gonna clip this out. We are gonna take this on up out of here. So we are gonna clip this out and we about to replace it. And I'm gonna show y'all how y'all can make a dope ass tag and turn something up like this. In any type of sweatpants. I do this with all my sweatpants, honestly. Jeans too. But let's get into it, y'all, hold on. All right, we got all that threading, all the extra threading from right there. Clip that up. You don't want no extra wide uh, thread and uh, stuff like that going up under the new tag we about to put. So I'm just trying to make sure I got it all. All right, there we go. Now clip that last little bit. And we good. All right. Now we got the whole threading clip. All that is cleaned up. Now we got this. We still got they tag. So... You know, how I try to do it, I normally try to design something similar. We're going to get us a black suede. We're going to print some, a black suede rectangle just like this, about the same size as this. And then we're just going to put my company logo or name on top of this or whatever. You know, to each his own, how you want to design it. But that's my concept, and y'all going to see it come to life right here. And I'll show y'all exactly how I come up with that on a simple tip. So in the software that I use, all you got to do is just make a rectangle. Literally, it's nothing. And I feel like, you know, I can measure this right here, actually. So this not even an inch. This not even an inch in height or whatever. So basically I wanna to try to make mine close. So I'm just make mine an inch just to keep it simple. It's gonna be an inch in height. And then I'm gonna go with the black base the same way. So first thing first, you know, like I said, everybody got their own vinyl cutting software. So it's, it probably won't be the same, but all in all, we just gonna make us a little rectangle right quick. Boom, boom. Zoom in, hold up. Now. You got that made. That's one inch already. Wow, okay. Cool. Now that's one inch in height. 
So that's what matters the most, the height. And then I can measure this. Let me see how long it is. It's like two and a half inches long. All right, so we need to make this like two and a half inches long. And that's already 2.9, so that's actually cool. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna see with this black right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do two. Dang, bro at the door, so I gotta stop for a second. All right, hold on. We're gonna do two though. I'll make one just a little bit bigger, just to see. Just to see, y'all. Bet y'all, so I got my tag design. I try to keep my tag simple. Most of my tags just say authentic creator nation in it. So if you get a piece and it don't got that in it, then it ain't authentic. Somebody might be bootlegging my gear and it might be fake. <laughs> but yeah, I just made me a little regular square, a little black square, authentic creator nation gonna go on top of that. And then I made like a little small tab on the side. So it's gonna cut the square just like that. And I'm gonna use the little side tab for the actual sizes. And yeah, we're gonna press that on that. That's just my concept. Like I said, I made this off of creating simple rectangles, as y'all can see. Look at this. I could just, boom, that's just a small little tab. So one, two is back where it was. I'm gonna cut this all in one, except the words. The words are gonna be his own thing. So right now we're gonna take this. Let me show y'all what I mean by that. Uh, all right, now we're gonna take these over here. Cool, now, we're gonna do like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there we go. Now let me make sure I got it. There we go. Boom. All right. Do the same thing for the rest of them. So the reason I did that is because I'm cutting these words out in regular vinyl, and I want them to be in the exact same place so that when I put it, put it back on here on top of the black, it lines up. So that was my whole point of doing that. Let me bring this to the front. Now, so basically it'll be in the exact placement when I cut these out. So now I can cut all this out in one color in white, and then I'm gonna cut these out in black. So now we're gonna take this, curve it, combine. Oh, no, 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 don't combine, I forgot. I can't combine it, we're just gonna cut it like this. Bet we lit. Let's get it. So simple cutouts, nothing too crazy. We're gonna cut in those squares right quick. And that's it. So now we got our basic squares. And the reason I did suede, of course, the flock vinyl, because it's thicker and you ain't gotta worry about it, you know, it's gonna last longer basically when you put it on the garment it's gonna last longer for like people who want to wash it and stuff but yeah we got our little squares as y'all can see so let's go in and weed that out boom there we go cut out exactly how they need to be cut out with the little tabs and all we got the rest of the creative nation for all the pants and now i just got to cut out so now we're gonna cut out the word in, in regular white vinyl or whatever you suggest i'm gonna use regular white vinyl though let me get me a little bit up out of here Now, we got everything laid out. Let's go, man. Go ahead and weed this last piece to the puzzle out. So, to end it off, here we go. Weeding out the vinyl that's gonna go on top of the black squares. And as y'all can see, it weeds out very easy. So don't let nobody tell you weeding is gonna be a problem. Boom, we're gonna weed this out. We got it cut out already. That's it. So basically, like I said, these gonna go on top of these like this, and it's gonna match up perfect. You gotta improvise when you can't do everything the big boys do. You know, you gotta think outside the box and create your own lane. You know what I mean? So that's what I be doing. Like I always create a way. I'm like, how can I make my stuff look official? Just like, you know, the bigger companies who got all the money without having to go that route and spend all the money. So, you know, for those of us who can't afford to get embroidered tags or sold in tags, and you want to do stuff like this, but you don't want to just give it to people with no tag at all, then this is how you go about it. Or this one way that you can go about it. This is how I create my own tags on stuff. And, and you know, like I said, it's to my liking. So 
it ain't a, it ain't really about what people gonna think. As long as it's gonna last and it look good to my eyes as far as professional and tagged up and quality, then I'm good. They know what size it is. It don't say nobody else brand name. I can take out the tag that originally came with it. And that's just until I can afford to do embroidered tags or sold in tags or, you know, buy me a bulk amount and then sew them in and get me an embroidered machine. But until then, we got to do what we got to do. So that's what we're going to do. A little bit of weeding. A little labor. That's all. Heat press back ready. Right on time. Okay, okay, okay. Shut up. We here. So this is a small. So we're gonna go on the clip as one off the top. Cause these are small ones. Boom, boom, boom. I need to be able to see too, cause that that suede is so thick, you can't even really see. Um see exactly where the place may be. So yeah, now. Like I said, we got Y'all see, I got my padded pillow. I got the waistband stretched around the heat press. Let me drop this down so y'all can really see. So I got the waistband stretched around the whole heat press. I got me a padded pillow in here. I actually got two. I got my little flat one that I've been having forever, which barely do anything. And I got another one on top. But you can really just put one in there and put it right up under. So yeah, I'm going to bend this back a little bit because it be moving around and I need it to stay in place. So I don't want it slide. So for this suede, if you want to make it sit and not move around, you can fold it just a little bit, give it that fold. And now we got it right here where the other tag was. So of course, like I said, I cut my tag bigger. Now I could have went smaller. This is the tag that they had in there. Of course, y'all see my tag is way bigger. I could have went with the same size if I wanted to, but I wanted my own size. So, you know, like I said, it's all up to you on your vinyl cutter and how small you can go but I wanted to just do my own thing. I just needed theirs to get an idea. I mean, it's black, so I just needed me a black base and then white vinyl. So yeah, we'll go ahead and press this now. Go ahead and press that on down. Let that cool off for a second. And while that cool off, I'm gonna chop these on up right quick. I don't think it's ready to be peeled yet, but I can, I can see. Okay, never mind, it's ready. I think it depends on the material. Usually track pan, it do cool on track pan, put it. So y'all see why I went with the suede, right? Look at the material. It's the closest thing you're gonna get to like a garment type material, like a cotton, something that don't make it seem just vinyl and just, you know, like you don't really want that cheap look. I ain't gonna lie, we just gonna see it. We're gonna let the cat out the bag. So suede is like a luxury type premium vinyl or whatever. And as you can see, that's how it looks. So you could have went blue on blue, black. You can go any color. I'm just going black because that's what I want. So we're gonna go black. And we're going to put that on top of there like that. And that's going to be it. So once we print that, now we got the vinyl on there. And it's a it's a two, you know, two-layered suede tag, basically. And the, the suede go down first, basically, so that this vinyl will last a long time. Like, the vinyl on top of the suede is going to last longer than just putting vinyl directly on here. So, yeah, man, that's that. That's how you do the suede tag. That's how you print on the track pants on the front, cutting up the split if you find these kind. But if you don't have these and you just want to do any kind of sweatpants, this is how you can make you a custom tag or whatever. I use flock vinyl. You can use whatever vinyl you want to use, but I prefer flock vinyl because it's thicker. And of course you can put the regular vinyl on top of it later and it lasts long. But let me go ahead and press that though. Oh. Look at that. Look at that work. A1, see what I'm saying? That's clean. That don't take away from it. It's as close thing as I'm going to probably get to, that I can make from home that's close to the tag that came in it. And you know, it's my own look. And you can go, you can do it better than that. If you want, you can come up with smaller text, probably get a logo depending on what you want to put. But this is just how I'm going about doing mine. So I'm going to press that one more time. One more time just to give it that permanent, you know what I'm saying? So it'll last in the heat heater, I mean the dryer and the washing machine. And now look, that's it, it's A1. A1, man. Now, all right, let's flip them back out, bro. 
see this finished product. Y'all, tag A1 though. Damn, that's fire. Professional, man. <laughs> look real nice. It looked just like the other one. Now, we, matter of fact, I can get a pair that I didn't clip the tag out and let y'all see both. But for now, boom. You got the pants done, A1 quality. You got the tag in the back. You stretch it. It stretches with the pants so you don't have to worry about it ripping or nothing like that. And yeah, bro, it's, it came out dope. Like, it came out real nice. And let me get a pair that got the original tag in it so we can look at it and compare. So let's compare the tags. So we got this tag and we got this tag. So, of course, mine is a little bit more jumbo because I said I wanted to make it bigger. But on my sight and scale and looking at it, like, it's the same exact thing, bro. It's the same thing. Mine actually look better than me. I like the printed tag, especially in person. If y'all could see this in person, bro, that suede looks so velvet and just nice. And it's, damn, I didn't even peep. They do got the little mini M down there. I'm tripping. So I did it the same way. I just put a little spin on it for myself, made it a little more simplified. But it, all in all, we did the job. That's what I wanted y'all to see. Another cook-up session in the books. Stacked track pants with the piping and the line down the seam printed around the actual seam, you know what I mean? With the line going through the middle and custom size tag, we clipped all the tags. Very nice. So I'm gonna finish up the whole load. We're gonna take them in the photo room. We're gonna get some pictures. And then, you know, we'll look at them one more time. One last look up close. Damn, that suede is nice. Cause I need y'all to see what this suede look like anyway. Let's go, bro. Cooking up. Just like